Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger presented by Draco Breach. Now, you may recognize this grave because right behind it is a speed tab, but this is Toma's grave um, in 1000 AD, um, where he told us where we're going for our for, for our next and final uh, little side quest. For this, we have to head back to 680, the, mid the uh, Middle Ages, and go to Giant's Claw. Those holes, what if I jumped into them on purpose? Yes, I'll start back at the beginning and... Presumably this may be when he died. This might look familiar, huh? Yeah, you can have somebody sit in the chair, it's kind of funny. Is this the Tyranno Lair? Lavas fell in Tyranno Lair, buried underground forever. Mm, apparently not quite forever because... Here we are in 600 AD. Head up here and we see, hmm, dinosaurs. The best thing to do with these guys, believe it or not, is to wait a little bit. I don't have everybody equipped the way I want them to be. Oh well, that's fine. Because... The Gigasar is rather fast, as you just saw. And if Chrono let off his lightning attack um, to, before the Gigasar moves, the Gigasar can attack and unleash um, something equivalent to Lightning 2, I believe. Uh, anyway, sight cap there. Going this way actually leads to a dead end, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show it off. It's a dead end. There's nothing that you can do here. Except see that uh, there's a strange ladder coming up from down below and a ladder that you can't reach. Um, I'll show you where that connects to when we get there, but for now, just know that that is a dead end. Through here. We get another little attack here. These guys will actually absorb lightning, so don't use lightning on... I... You can steal Hyper Ethers from this, these guys, so that's why I'm kind of like, did I really just do that? The thing is, though, they actually counter you using um, Charm and possibly even other text with a, um, no, oh, rats, with wing blow, which can cause chaos. In my general experience, it causes chaos at a rate of 100%. I am not going to get as many hyper ethers as I was hoping, am I? I'm not a big deal, but I do want at least some Hyper Ethers. And I mean, it's not a big deal to not get all of them. Now, as I'm sure you can see, this area is filled with some rather annoying enemies. Because being able to 100% cause chaos is quite annoying. Uh, this trap should look familiar. And this is what... Oh, whoops. This is what Tomo was talking about. Purposely falling down holes. I actually didn't mean to make you guys come down here. Fossil apes are kind of annoying. You can steal lapis off of them, so that might be a recommendation. Um, but they're... Extreme. 
extremely annoying. Because they cause a massive amount of damage. Now, fortunately, Marl's um, magic is at such a high level that just casting Cure 1 um, will heal most, if not all, the hit, hit points of anybody, no matter how many hit points they have. Because as you just... Oh, come on, stop throwing people. That's rude. And the thing is, it says too far to counterattack, but I've never actually seen him counterattack, which is weird. Okay, one of these... Okay. Now, as you just saw with these guys, they are very fast. But, they also go down to one lumin uh, Luminaire. So... Typically, as soon as Chrono's available, I just take them out. They don't... I don't think they have anything really worth stealing. Um, because I think you can basically steal a shield and or a barrier off of them. Another power tab. So here... You get a full ether and... A pow another power tab. So our tabs are looking pretty good. Problem is... Hmm, we're a long way away from max level and getting pretty close to maxing some stats. I avoided an enemy. How did I avoid an enemy? There was a group of two fossil apes that I just ran past, and I don't know how. Okay, that might have been a counterattack. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, Marl. Oh, look, a normal attack. He just claw swiped. Fortunately, a lot of good drops in this area. Blue Rock, that is, um... I'll show it right quick. That's another triple tra tech item that works with Magus, Luca, and Robo. So as you can see, like most of um, Magus's usefulness, okay, this goes up to that dead end that I described. Most of Magus's usefulness actually seems to come from finding the various rocks uh, and unlocking those triple techs while those rocks are equipped. Anyway, that item that I just picked up um, probably is the highest defense or one of the best options for Isla at this point. Actually, what I want to do... Is get prepared. Let's go ahead and get ready. Kind of the interesting thing is, the Gigasars, and this one loves to show it off, have a fire breath. Let's see if he'll actually show it off at this time as well. Because I don't think we've actually seen him... There we go. As I'm not sure if he's actually used that in the previous fights or not. I wasn't paying that much attention. I was double-checking my notes to make sure that I was uh, keeping track of all the items that I have to pick up. Because there are some good ones in here. Okay, so... I 
I really don't feel like fighting. He summons those um, lightning absorbing. I might have to show it off though. The Frenzy Band. Um, one of the best items in the game uh, is the Frenzy Band. And you're at the bottom, aren't you? 80% counter rate. So yeah, um, the Charm Top is nice and all, but I think I'll keep the um, Frenzy Band on from now on. I didn't want to fight these guys twice, which is why I had them go down the hole the first time. Fossil Ape's going to be a jerk. And even though I risk getting chaos, I do want to try to get some more hyper ethers. Good, it missed. Was that a different one? I kind of hope not. Chaos to chaos. Oh well, I got the two hyper ethers that I could get from this fight, so I am happy. Not happy that Isla decided that she was going to attack Chrono, but I'm happy that I got my hyper ethers. I think it's about time to go ahead and use a heal. If I could menu correctly. Because there's still a few enemies to be concerned about, especially since I'm doing this on purpose. Ah, you only called in the Leapers. Fossil Ape is surprisingly fast. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. And it's pretty much going to be after this side quest that I use the bulk of my tabs. Because uh, I'll have most of the ultimate equipment in the game after this side quest. These guys ought to look familiar. So yeah, if you have anybody that you need some quick um, tech points on, I don't think they respawn. Yep, they don't respawn. So if you need some quick tech points, I'm getting them primarily because the experience points are still good off of Rubbles. And may as well take advantage of that. Because a thousand experience points is nothing to sneeze at, especially off off, off of one easy to beat enemy. This trap ought to look familiar. But um, where we are, that's actually where Kino. No, that's not where Kino was held. That was where the people of. I can never remember the name of that village. And another power tab. La oh, wait, it's La Laruba? I forgot to do something up here. You can actually head towards the skull and open it, just in case you need to leave or whatever. However, I don't need to, so let's continue on. You will want to make sure that you have ruby armor, uh, red mail, or red vests equipped at this point. I am equipping ruby armor and red mail 
um, so that I have the most defense that I possibly can. Make sure that you're at maximum health and maximum uh, MP, and then continue forward. Uh, go, go in the. Thank you. I have no idea. Yeah, I have everything. Okay. If you stand in front of him, nothing happens. If you go to the left of him, for some odd reason, nothing happens. You have to go to the right of him. I don't know. Say hello to... Rust Tyranno and his... absurdly high... 25,000 hit points. You will want to use your most damaging techniques against this guy. A little bit of prep work at first. I do actually want to steal off of him. Oh, lovely. While we are waiting, this does a decent amount of damage. Um, this does two-thirds of the damage that Final Kick does, so it does a decent amount. Um, Isla? Are you okay? This is the most I've seen you miss in this fight, and I don't want... To miss out on this, like I did on the with the blue mail. Oh, come on, Isla. I don't want to kill the Rust Tyranno before I get the red mail. Thank you. And now... I have three uses of Final Kick. So let's take full advantage of that. Now, you can imagine that the Rust Tyranno is pretty similar to the Black Tyranno from Tyranno from the first walkthrough of, of Tyranno Lair. So he is absolutely no pushover. Uh, at this point, let's go ahead and do haste on Isla. Because she's not going to be able to participate in any more... Uh, I don't think she has any more text that she can use. So this is why we have Ruby Armors and Red Mails equipped. So that it can't do all that much damage. Ice Sword 2 is a great technique. It does a boatload of damage. Because um, during my practice run, I didn't use ice, uh, I didn't use Ice Sword 2 that often. Primarily because I didn't miss with Charm that often. And uh, did not kill him that quickly. So yeah. Okay. This is the Rainbow Shell. Heavy, heavy, can't carry. Castle people help? So yeah. Once you discover that, you walk south and you automatically actually 
Enter Guardia Castle. Hello, you're always welcome here. What can I do for you? Well, I get it. You want me to keep that huge, that huge shell safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Chrono, please carry out their request. Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece. At once, sire. Thank you, your majesty, and Queen Lean too, of course. And with that, we are pretty well done here. That is, um, Giant Claw, uh, Giant Claw Mountain, and the quest for the prism shell. Next time, we will see exactly what we can get from this pris prism shell. So until next time, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.